Yo, 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 what is good? It is your boy DJ Mateo, your friendly neighborhood mutt mogul, coming to you live from Mogul HQ, aka the Mutthead TV Emporium, full of gadgets and wizardries and everything mutt related. And guess what? We're back on another Monday for Mutt Mogul Monday, where I bring you tips and information on how to increase your coins and maybe make you that mutt millionaire that you've always been looking to try to be. Now, this week uh, I'm going to give you a market tip and it is going to be about collectibles. So I was going through my item binder doing some soul searching looking for ways to increase my coins and what did I come across? I came across uh, four team of the year collectibles that I had. So for all you guys that's hoarding collectibles, those in particular are ones that you want to get rid of now. I mean unless you plan on doing the set, which it is kind of expensive to do now, you go ahead and do it. But what I would suggest is you just sell the cards off. Now I had about five or six of them. I'm gonna show you which ones that I had that um, that was able to you know get me a lot of coins. Now there are ten in all. Some of them are worth more than others, but I will show you the ones I've done the research for you and show I will show you which ones are the most expensive. And probably after this video, they may go down. So hey, first come serve serve. Uh, first come first serve, and we'll get it popping. So first the Antonio Brown kick. I sold mine for about 22k. As you can see, there's only five of them up here. The lowest one is at uh, 25. So, matter of fact, let's take a look. Yeah, the lowest one is at 25. Uh, the next one that I did sell was the Devin Hester kick return record. Look at that. There's only five of them up, and the lowest is at 22. Somebody just put that up. It was uh, 29 not too long ago. So that person is a smart guy. Uh, the next one that we have also is the uh, which one did I have? Uh, Anthony Barr TD return. Now, look at that. There's only three of them up. Uh, there's one at 19. So, these three, these four that, that I had, I also had the J.J. Watt one. Uh, it only goes for about 15. But, just so you know, those four were ones that I made big coins off of. I sold them at about between uh, 19 and 24K. I made a quick 100K flip. It was real easy. It made me feel real good. So, if you guys have those collectibles inside your item binder, you may want to go ahead and throw them up. Uh, that'll definitely get you some you know some quick coins if you need them or like I said if you're only one or two away from doing the collection then by all means go ahead and knock it out or if you want to sell them all and get those coins maximize that coin profit then go ahead and do that as well well like I said that's my Monday tip for you guys go forth and do great things as usual shout out to you shout out to me shout out to the fans shout out to the community and shout out to the sidewalk for keeping me off the streets now peace I love you, but your boy gots to go.